Uh, Travis Etienne is a big play today. Um, he can, he's got the, the catch ability where, you know, he can run routes. He can catch the ball out the backfield, flat routes, you know, stuff like that. Um, but <clears throat> Titans run defense has, has been pretty solid. So, you know, that's something for you to think about. Um, the Jags O-line allowed 27 sacks. That's tied for the fifth lowest with 110 pressures. Uh, to go along with that, the Titans run defense, holding running backs to 3.4 yards per carry. So that's why I'm kind of hesitant on putting Travis Etienne on the squad because, like, they they do uh, do they do a good job against the run. Um, they they rank second in holding running backs to that 80.5 yards per game. They rank second uh, also. Travis Etienne, nine carries, 106 y- 108 yards, one touchdown, and 12 yards per carry against that against uh, uh who they played last week in Week 17. Um, I think it was the Texans. Uh, and he's got 1,008 yards on the season with five touchdowns and 5.2 yards per carry. Derrick Henry is a big play today, 1,429 yards. That ranks third, 13 touchdowns. That ranks second, four and a half yards per carry. In uh, the Week 14 matchup against the Jags, uh, he had 17 carries, 121 on the yards, and one touchdown, and 7.1 yards per carry. Um, the Jags' run defense hold do hold running backs to four yards per carry. That ties for the sixth lowest. But I also think that Derrick Henry is going to have a monster game because, I mean, what else do you have? Um, Joshua Dobbs did a a, pre- a pretty decent job against Dallas. Um, in his first start in like I don't know when, but he was twenty of thirty nine, two hundred thirty two yards. He threw an interception, he threw a touchdown, and he finished with a sixty seven and a half rate quarterback rating. So um, it's it's not Tannehill, even though like Tannehill hasn't really been all that great either. But you know he does have some experience, and this could be a this is a big game for Joshua Dobbs because you know I mean. You can go into next season with this game under your belt, you know, going to another team, being a, a solidified uh, a backup in this league. Um, will he help him being a starting quarterback against the Jag- with the Jags? I mean, with the Titans next season? I'm not really sure. I think they probably want to go a little bit, you know, a better. Um, but, and they still got Malik Willis, which he still has to develop to. But it's a very big game for Joshua Dobbs. It's a very big game for Trevor Lawrence. He's been on a roll, and I would like for that to continue. I'm picking the Jags. Let me know in the comments who you got.